Congratulations, you finally did it. You booked a vacation for you and your family that you very, very much needed. Now you're low key freaking out because you gotta take your kids on a vacation and like, where do you start? Stay tuned because I have all of the essentials for you that you absolutely need that I know from experience of what worked with my kids on my latest family vacation. So if you're freaking out, girl, don't frick because I got you and I'm gonna tell you guys all of the actual essentials that you're gonna need to make traveling with your babies so much easier. Let's get into it. Of course, before I tell you my sweet gets of traveling with kids, definitely hit that subscribe button, girl, for more mom content, especially chaotic mom life content. I would love to have you here, and of course, hit that like button if you would like to see more videos like this one. I'm gonna make this as simple as possible and straight to the point because I recently just took my very first family vacation with all three of my kids, ranging from teenager to toddlers, girl. Leading up to my vacation, I really was freaking out and looking on YouTube and going down the depths of different videos of traveling essentials for infants, toddlers, teenagers, just traveling as a family in general. And honestly, there are some really great videos out there. However, a lot of their essentials weren't my essentials and I didn't end up needing half of the things that I thought that I would because I was freaking out so much. Hopefully this will help you organize, kind of dwindle down your packing list a bit and make sure that all of your bases are covered in any event that happens on your vacation. We're gonna jump right in and I'm saving the best for first to be honest with you because this thing right here is a freaking lifesaver and I would recommend it to anybody and that is a passport book. Invest in one of these, they are super affordable. You can find them on Amazon. This is what helped me grow. And it's really cool because it also has a pin in the center, a very slim pin. And this is for the custom paperwork that you have to fill out usually when returning to the US. Essentially, this is your one-stop shop to all of your travel documentation, especially your passports if you guys are traveling out of the country. This keeps everything all in one spot. You're not digging for different passports. Definitely don't want your kids or your teenagers to accidentally misplace their passport or their boarding passes. So this thing was a gem. It was six of us traveling on my last vacation. I had all three of my kids, my husband and my mom, and we were traveling internationally, so we needed every single one of our passports. This passport book makes it essential. You place everyone's passport in there when it comes time to have it scanned. Boom, pow, you're good to go. And in the event that you need your COVID vaccine cards for where you're traveling, you can pop those bad boys in here too. So it's multifaceted. When you're traveling internationally, not only do you have to go through regular security, but you have to go through customs and your paperwork and and your documentation is out the entire time. Having kids and toddlers and trying to give out snacks and digging for passports, not the jam. This was a lifesaver. If I could recommend any one thing on this list, this would be it. I will link as much as I can down below in my description box, but definitely get your hands on one of these passport books. It'll make your life so much easier traveling with kids. Snacks, snacks, and more freaking snacks. Cannot have enough snacks. So what we did was we put different types of snacks into smaller baggies and then put all of those smaller baggies into a bigger baggie and it ranged from graham crackers, goldfish, granola bars, you know, little gummies. You can also pre-chop some fruit, you know, put those in a small baggie and have those prepared for your flight. I only let the kids have one snack per hour, otherwise they would have an entire feast. So that's how I was able to kind of combat them going after the snack bag, but it is so helpful through security. During your plane ride, this can prevent meltdowns from happening. It was something that we definitely utilized and I would not go anywhere with my kids without snack. Don't pack lightly on them snacks, girl. Get some different stuff, a little variety, have a little baggie full of snacks and you'll be good to go. Next is sippy cups. Empty sippy cups. Don't forget the sippy cups, girl. Now these are the specific ones that I like using. They're aluminum, they are spill proof, and they're really durable as well. They can take a beating, which is perfect for toddlers. Of course, you're gonna take these to the airport empty. Once you get past security, you can fill them with water or juice or whatever and then have that through the duration of the flight. The sippy cups that I have keep the drinks cold for hours so I would really recommend these but have sippy cups on hands because thirsty babies equal grumpy babies and we don't want that. Next of course we have essentials. I'm talking diapers especially if your baby hasn't been potty trained yet. Now I'm sure your question 
is gonna be like, how many do I take? Do I take an entire pack? Do I kind of pack lightly and buy them there? Cause those are the questions that I had. I pack my own Pampers just because I buy them in bulk. On average, from what I've heard, anywhere between five to seven diapers per day that you're there is gonna be adequate enough. I know so many mommies that use this exact same math and are perfectly fine during their vacation. They don't have to buy more diapers while they're on vacation if they use that math. I actually had diapers left over by the time I came home. So about five to seven per day that you're there. If your baby is younger, or like in the infant stage, definitely pack like two or three more diapers than that per day. Now, depending on where you're going and how accessible like CVS and a convenience store is, you might find that it might be more beneficial for you to just grab a pack of diapers wherever you're going. But a good rule of thumb is five to seven diapers per day that you plan on being on vacation. Now, of course, accompanying the diapers, you need some wipies. And I'm not talking about just a few or like the little travel cases of wipies. No, girl, bring the whole thing. Now this, you wanna bring the entire case of wipies, okay? Wipies can be used for everything. Not only to change pampers, but to clean up messes, to clean up sticky hands, to clean up yourself. You will thank me, I'm telling you. Next, still in pamper land, if you are going someplace where there's a beach or a pool and you expect your baby to get wet, bring some swim diapers, girl. I thought the swim diapers were nothing but like marketing BS. I was like, why do I need to buy some more diapers? Like, what the hell? But of course, diapers and swim diapers are not the same. The swim diapers don't absorb as much water as the regular diapers do. So that way your baby doesn't have like this big old puffy diaper in the water. If your baby's still in diapers, definitely get you some swim diapers. Don't forget, it's a godsend. Moving on, rash cream. You do not want to have a baby with a terrible diaper rash or any sort of rash and is uncomfortable and itchy on the plane. Bring you some rash cream. I personally prefer the A and D cream. I, that's more of an ointment than a cream, but that's just our preference. But whatever floats your boat, girl, don't forget the rash cream. You don't want to get caught slipping with that. Next, you want to grab your baby's Tylenol. This is a must, especially if it's your first time flying with your baby. This is right up there with having a small first aid kit. I would recommend that as well. When it comes to flying with your baby for the first time, if they're really little up to toddlers, you never know how they're gonna react to being in the air and it can be quite painful for babies to experience the popping of the ears for the first time. Not to mention if they are teething, if they have a tummy ache, if their food isn't sitting well with them while they're in the air. All of these things can cause them to have discomfort and can cause a low grade fever. You don't wanna be caught off guard and they definitely do have travel size time. Tylenol, I got the 2.5 fluid ounce, which is perfect to just slip in your carry-on bag, which is what I did. So that way you have some medicinal backup in case you need it. If your baby is like super fussy and you can tell that they're in pain and like have some discomfort going on, you got some baby Tylenol to fall back on. So bring that, it is so important. Next, let's talk strollers and baby carriers. Do you need it? Do you not? Should you bring it? How does it work? I had all of these questions and quite frankly, I was like, you know what? I don't need it. Both of my babies can walk at this point. You know, we can carry Mila through security. Ezra will walk with me. No big deal. But literally a few days before we left, I had a change of heart last minute and I decided to get like the most basic, cheapest stroller just to get us from point A to point B, meaning our house through the airport, through security seamlessly. I figured why not just get a set of strollers. So I got a two set stroller for both Ezra and Mila. And honestly, I didn't think that I was really going to use it except for through the airport. Girl, I was absolutely wrong. I am so grateful that we have this stroller. We used it every single day. If you are staying on a resort or if you're just staying in like a really big hotel, understand that although your children can walk, they are very little and their strides are very small. And the last thing that you want is a tired, cranky baby dragging them through the hotel or you're having to carry them plus your purse and whatever. It's just a whole mess. Bring strollers. That's my personal recommendation because we used the strollers literally every single day. We were in a big resort that was like, had a lot of walking space and there was a lot of distance between our room and like restaurants and the beach and stuff. And the stroller was an absolute godsend. Super simple to take it through security. You actually get through security a bit faster having a stroller and um, you take the kids out, you can get through really fast. And then once you get to the gate, um, you take your kids out of the strollers. The staff will go ahead and fold up your stroller for you, pack it up, and then 
they'll have it out and ready for you when you get off of your flight. So super easy peasy, don't let it intimidate you because I was really, really worried that it was gonna be a pain in the ass, but it's actually so worth it. If you have more than one baby, especially that's like in the toddler area, get yourself a stroller, do yourself a favor and your arms, girlfriend, because the last thing you want is to be juggling babies, bags, sunscreen, all of that mess, just get a stroller. Next, I would highly recommend their blankets. And I'm not talking about any blanket. I mean like their favorite blanket. My kids have blankets that they've had since they were infants and it is their favorite. It is something that they sleep with every single night. So I made sure to bring those blankets along with us while we traveled so that it smelled like home. You know, it's comforting and I was able to use this on the flight. You know, I can get a little bit chilly in the planes and of course, you know, at night in our hotel, Ezra really, really appreciated having his blanket there with him. That way, even though they're in a new environment, it still kind of feels familiar because of the smell of their blanket. It it definitely does wonder. So bring something like that. And on this same note, if your baby has a favorite stuffed animal or plushie or something, bring that as well. Ezra is very attached to his elephant and he only allowed me to have this for filming for literally five seconds. <laughs> Again, this is more of a comfort thing and especially at night, it's gonna be very, very helpful for you. During my vacation, I had one baby still in diapers and my son had just learned how to go potty. So he was potty trained, but still, you know, learning and becoming more confident. So accidents were still happening. What I did was I packed the normal amount of underwear that I would pack, you know, for however many days we were gonna be traveling. And then I doubled that. And I doubled that just to have some room and some wiggle room for any accidents that might happen while we're out and about. To my surprise, my son didn't have any accidents while we were out and about. So I didn't even need those extra underwear, but it's super great to have them in the event that you're either potty training or you just potty train and they still might have an accident or two here and there. This next one is definitely an essential. For you, it may not be, I don't know. Disinfecting wipes, I cannot leave my house without disinfecting wipes. They also have like the little travel pouches and I use these at every single point of our trip, including in the airport where the babies were sitting. Girl, you know how like they go up to the big windows and you know, they can see the planes out on the runway and stuff and the babies, they tend to go up to that window as babies do and they, you know, touch on the window and put their face up against the girl. When I tell you, wipe it down, wipe it down. Wipe it down, I don't care. I, people were looking at me crazy, I don't care. I was wiping down everything from the seats on the airplane, just to have that extra level of protection. Bring some disinfectant wipes, you know, they can really come in handy, especially in this day and age. And that was definitely an essential for me. Now this next one only applies if you're going to like a beach or you're going to like a summer vacay or you know, spring break and you expect your baby to be in the water. I would highly recommend swim shoes. That way, wherever they're walking inside of the water, it's not slippery. Their feet aren't getting scratched up and raw on the bottom of the pools or you can protect them from rocks and stuff on the beach. So get some swim shoes. I saw some mommies who forgot their swim shoes for their babies while we were on vacation and they were really struggling um, because the babies couldn't like, you know, walk near or around the pool because it was too hot. So don't forget your baby's swim shoes super important as well. Speaking of shoes, I found this amazing godsend of an item on Amazon and it is so helpful, especially when you have little ones and it's a shoe organizer, okay? Look at this. It has two different zippers and it's very breathable and it's pretty roomy for your baby's shoes. We brought a few different pairs of shoes for the babies, I like a walking shoe, kind of like a tennis shoe, flip flops, and then of course their swimming shoes and this organizer made it so easy to keep their shoes in one spot. You don't want one shoe to go missing or you know just have their shoes and their separate luggage like I just kind of wanted everything to be consolidated and this really really helped also I was able to fit some of my own chunk laws in the bottom of this so you know it's really really helpful and I thought it was just a really cool idea and a really cool travel item so you know when you're packing for your kid you have all their shoes in one spot and it was really really helpful also when we were coming home from the beach and the babies had their little sandals on I was able to put 
put their sandals in here and you know any sand that was on their shoes still that I couldn't get off wasn't getting all over our luggage it's just in this little pouch so I would definitely recommend this thing it's amazing and it's super useful we're nearing the end next thing that I would recommend and you know honestly I'm not one of those moms that's like oh my god I don't let my kids do that like honestly I hate that you do you whatever works with you and your kids before this vacation my kids had never ever seen an iPad before. I just didn't feel like they needed it. I didn't feel like downloading stuff. Like, you know, they watched Paw Patrol and stuff like that on our TV in our living room. They had never seen or interacted with an iPad until the day we traveled. Girl, don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed, okay? So I did. I got our family iPad. Of course, you wanna get yourself a case. You can find one of these on Amazon as well. Really, really cheap. These are basically kid-proof. You know, it kinda has a bounce to it. It's gonna protect your iPad from any spills. It also comes with these cool little stands. Ezra really, really liked this, and you know, you can kinda set it there. I use this at the tail end of our flight, okay? When they started getting really antsy, and Mila wanted to get up out of her chair, and they're not used to sitting still for that long it was at that point that I was like look at this look at this sorcery right here and they were like wait what and then all you need is a pair of headphones for them these were super affordable on Amazon they're wireless they also have volume control so they don't get too loud and the frequency is safe for the baby's ears um, so I got them in pink and blue for Ezra and Mila they love these things you pair them to your iPad and you're good to go this definitely saved us like the last hour of our flight. Ezra and Mila absolutely died over this iPad and they had such a good time watching their shows. And before we knew it, we were landed and they were fine. They were good to go. Now, I've actually heard some moms also suggest, which I thought was a really good idea, to buy the kids a new toy, something that they've never seen before, but don't show it to them until they get on the plane. So that way, you know, they're super excited and their entire focus for the duration of the plane ride is on this new toy. Toy. This kind of knocked out two birds with one stone. This was a new toy for my kids and a new experience for them all together. So it worked wonders. Don't be ashamed, girl. If you need to have an iPad, take an iPad. You're gonna need it, I'm telling you. Next, you want a bag. Not just in your bag. Compressible, foldable, flexible, you know, all the ubbles. Bag that you can take to the beach. The pool, anytime that you leave your hotel room, you're still gonna need all of your things for your babies while you're out and about that you would need in a normal diaper bag. So, again, I found this on Amazon. This thing is humongous, and I freaking love it, okay? It's it's very, very cute. There's some pockets on the outside for your easily accessible thing. Your phone, your key card, your wallet, all of those things. Now, I also like that this has zippers for some extra security. This bag in particular has two sides and this side is insulated. So you can have snacks in here and keep them cold. And so, but the way that I used it while I was on vacation was like baby side and then mommy daddy side. You know, all of the sunscreen, our chanclas, Julian stuff, all of that went on this side and then pampers, wipies, more swim diapers, rash cream, all of that went on the other side, zipped it up and took this along with me every single time we went to the beach or we went, you know, to the restaurants or anything like that. And it's super, super cute and it's waterproof. If you accidentally drop it in a pool or something, you know, most of the things inside should be okay. And then when it comes time to pack up, it folds down really, really well. And I put this at the bottom of my suitcase and then piled my things on top of it and it was no big deal, but it really was super helpful. Get you a nice durable beach bag, essentially. Last but not least, and definitely so, so helpful is a phone protector. I'm gonna have a photo here of the one that was very similar to mine. My mom got it for me before we left on this vacation. You can find these at Walmart, you can find them on Amazon. They're like everywhere, but they're so helpful um, because we need our phone everywhere we go in case of an emergency. I personally get super nervous leaving my phone like near my beach bag and stuff when I'm in the ocean or in the the pool because like I don't I'm just always afraid that somebody's gonna be thieving I used to hate leaving my stuff behind but now I don't have to because I got one of these babies and it keeps your phone dry what I did was put my phone in it and then I put that around my neck and I was just swimming with my boys and looking all cute and my phone was completely safe plus you can still use your phone while you have it in this protector it can still pick up your thumbprint and your face ID so you can fully use it and everything but you can protect it from the water and still keep it on you at all times 
for any reason because I hate leaving my valuable stuff alone by itself. I get so nervous. Like I legit can't have any fun because I'm constantly like looking out of the pool, checking on our things, just like don't do it, don't do it. So this was definitely very helpful for me and I think it would be very helpful for you too. Keep in mind my essentials in this video are with toddlers in mind because that's what I was traveling with, a teenager and two toddlers. So of course, if you have an infant, the essentials are gonna be a little bit different. If you have a teenager, the essentials are gonna be a little bit different. If you guys are interested in another video where I go into what to bring for your teenager on a family vacation, I got you with that as well. Let me know down below or give this video a like to let me know and I'll get right on that for y'all because it's a whole different story, but they need essentials as well. So anyways, y'all, that is an entire list of my personal essentials that I found very helpful while on vacation with my kids this past summer. We went to Playa del Carmen in Mexico and just had an amazing time, an amazing experience. And the kids actually did really, really well. They did really well on the flight over, the flight back. And while we were in the resort, you know, there were a few little meltdowns, but nothing too bad. And we were able to navigate through this vacation pretty seamlessly with these essentials. So I hope some, if not all of this, helps you out in your next vacation. And I know that especially with first time moms, you just kind of question every single thing that you do. And when you have to travel with your kid, you're just like, oh my God, I don't want to be embarrassed. I don't want my baby to have an outburst or have a temper tantrum in front of all of these strangers. And don't worry about any of that. People have to understand that babies are babies and they're not born with patience and they're not born with pain management skills and they're not born with verbal skills and communication skills. So people need to chill, okay? Don't let nobody make you feel bad. You're a great parent, you're doing amazing. And hopefully this list will kind of help ease your mind a little bit. If I forgot anything or you have your own personal essentials that have helped you out while you're traveling with your kids, please leave them down in the comments below. Let's help our girls out, okay? Ezra especially really, really enjoyed the plane ride. He was just so happy and so curious. So I think a lot of times we don't give our kids the credit that they deserve when it comes to situations like this because I honestly was preparing for the worst and I got the absolute best when it came to my babies. Like they did an incredible job and I was so proud of them. Everything's gonna be okay. You're doing great, mama. Thank you so much for coming here to see my toddler essentials for traveling. I hope this video was helpful to you or someone that you love. Don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and would like to see more like it. Of course, hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you be a part of my glam fam and see your fine ass every single week. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love y'all very much. And I will see your fine ass in my next video really, really soon. Peace out.